The UK is aching. Let's get Brexit done, my friends. So we're going to be the strongest on borders, and we're going to set the example for other parts of the world. He understood that there were an awful lot of people out there that felt that they had no voice. When a politician is able to combine nativism and populism, it creates a very, very volatile mix that can be tapped into with incredible emotion. And we're not taking in Syrians that we have no idea who they are, where they come from. Today, the people who want to come to the West are vastly more numerous than the West itself. And if all of them were allowed to make that kind of claim, the West would be destroyed. We have to cut down the flow. The rate of change is problematic for everyone. When things change literally in front of your eyes, you are a bit disoriented. What we're seeing now is a rise in populism due to changing economy, but blamed on changing demographics. By 2015, 40% of Europeans are saying immigration is the number one issue facing the European Union. And lo and behold, populist right parties have never done as well as they're doing. The idea of politicians being able to weaponize populism so that they can create a more authoritarian society will become all the more real. And we'll look back on 2016 as, oh, that was, those were the good old days.